cute as a button, and today's video is going to be me making a little hamster cake. Um, it's a DIY, and I would like to announce right now that I'm doing a food series, a tiny food series. So, first you're going to cut out the top from a heel of bread. Well, you don't have to do a heel, but I did a heel for the top of the cake. Uh, and then, you're going to take another piece of bread and trace that out, basically. And I'm doing three layers. You can do three or more layers. Um, so I did a heel and then two middle breads, whatever you call those. Okay, and then next, for the frosting, you're going to take... Um, some yogurt, Put off, take off the thing, I didn't realize it was on there. Just mix it until it's nice and smooth. So the next thing you're going to do is just take some strawberries and mash them up. Well, you can do strawberries, blueberries, any kind of berry, or even like peanut butter. You can use peanut butter as long as it's sugar-free. So you're just going to mash those up and strain those into the yogurt. That's what I did here. You may need to add more or less to your liking. Just stir it around until it's very, um, whatever you call it, combined. Let's just use that word. So here is mine after adding all the stuff. Um, so next you're just going to take some and spread it on each little piece of cake. <laughs> slash bread and then next you're just going to stick them together and then put the heel on top and just smush it down a little bit so next you're just going to cover it in frosting that's what mine looks like done and next you're just going to take a little sandwich bag plastic sandwich bag and cut off the very tip because this is going to be a little mini piping bag to put little decorations on the cake. So, here is my finished bag. It took me forever to get a little corner off. Um, but you're going to just put some yogurt into the bag. And then just go around the edges and do tiny little dots. When you're done with that, you're just going to take a strawberry and cut little tiny slivery, whatever you want to call them, these little mini strawberries, I guess. Um, and I did quite a few of them. You could do however many you want. So I'm just going to put those on, and that's what my finished result is. So here's me cutting a little slice. Sorry for my knee in the background. You're just going to cut a little slice. You probably don't want a big slice because this is just an occasional little treat and you don't want to leave it in their cage for more than an hour or two because it can go bad. So here's my cute little slice of cake and next Button's going to try it. So she seems to like it. I put her in there and this is what happened. I love watching hamsters eat up close. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh, and it looks like she's done. Yeah. So I'm going to just take her out. So Button enjoyed this cake, and I hope you, your hamster will too. This is edible for humans, so it probably is not very tasty. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what your hamster thinks of this cake. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>